Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and that's another episode of a multi-part tutorial on Apple's Logic Pro 10.5. In this episode, I show you how to work with audio files, how to import, cut, loop audio and how to adjust the tempo of your audio files. So have fun. I go to new project, empty project and say choose. Now we create some audio tracks, uh, we, not software instruments, audio tracks. Let's make four of them. And from where do we get audio? There is a web page called mutant.com. That's a project I'm involved in. Here you can download the best high quality loops, drum beats, percussion samples and all for free and you can use it in your production. So let's check this out. Let's go to beats and immediately you get some results and you can listen to them. And if you like it, you with one click, you can download them without login, without credit card. You can filter your search result by choosing a tempo group or a key group or a genre group like I just want to find beats for deep house or electro house or whatever. Or you can choose a family. Let's choose the family pink. That means that everything we are searching now is 118 BPM G minor. So, and also the chord progression is the same. So everything fits together. What is great now for our example. So let's find a nice beat. What's about this one here? There is no bass drum. Uh, retro sounds so. I Maybe this one. Yeah, that's nice. I click on free download. Immediately I find the result in my download folder. And from here I place it in my timeline. So now we know the tempo of our beat because mutant samples always have the key or the tempo in the file name. So it's 118 BPM. We have here a faster tempo, it's 120 BPM. And you can see it, we are now a little bit longer. If I go down with the tempo, it's getting shorter. If I go up, it's getting longer. If I go to 118, we have the perfect tempo. And that means that we can loop it now. So if I go to the right corner at the bottom, I can change the length. If I go to the right corner at the top, I get this circle here and now I can loop it. That's like a copy. Let's listen to it. After eight bars, it plays the whole audio file again. And I can make this as long as I want. If I go here to zoom in and zoom out a little bit, I can now make this loop forever. What is pretty cool. Let's stay with four copies at the moment. That's enough. But what if we say you want to change the tempo? I go down with the tempo. Now, the loop is still okay, but it's not okay with our metronome. Listen to the metronome. It's not fitting together. If I listen in the original tempo, it's perfect in sync. If I change the speed, the beat has still the same tempo and it's not fitting to our metronome. So how do we solve this? Let's go back to the original tempo. And while the original tempo is on, we open the information, open the region and here where it says flex and follow, we go to on. Now the tempo is fixed to 118 BPM and we can change the tempo now. Now it's much more slowly and it's perfect in an eight bar loop still. We also can make it faster. That's the trick how you can change the tempo of a beat. So if you have different beats with different tempos, you can bring them all to the same 
tempo. Pretty cool. So let's say we want to have a break at the end of eight bars. So in Mutant, always you have a perfect eight bar loop. In the beginning, there's always something like a crash or an impact sound effect. At the end, there is always a little break. How this is useful in music. That's a small break. But we want to have a bigger break at the end of eight bars. So let's take the scissor. Let's make a cut here. Now it made the loop to an original file that we don't need, so let's erase it again. And now we take the zoom tool and zoom in a little bit. To see a little bit more in detail what we are doing, I give this a color. For this, I activate the loop. I say Option C on a Mac or Alt key on a PC, and I give it a different color. So I want a break starting at 16.3, a half bar before we go to the next eight bar loop. And for this, I make a cut here on the last 16th and one here. Okay. In fact, we don't need this. We just need this one here. Let's listen to this one. Let's place it on the 16th three and copy it to after 3 16th. Be careful, not after 4 16th, one beat earlier. So now it's doing something special. And now we need a last accent. Let's take the scissors tool, make a cut here and go back to the pointer tool and place this here at the end. Maybe this one is a little bit too loud. We can change this. Here it says gain. You first have to activate it. Maybe we give this also a different color. That's good. And we bring down the gain at, let's say, 5 dB. Try minus 7 or something like this. Now we zoom out again with this sliders here. We bring back the loop until the break. Let's listen to this. That's a wonderful break. I like it. So now it's time for another instrument. Why don't we bring in a bass? So we go to Mutant.com, we go to bass, but be careful, we want to stay in the family, so don't forget to choose the family pink, so it's also 118 BPM and it's G minor. Uh, maybe we try that one. Um, what's about this one? Or that one? I like that one. Let's go to free download. We can close this page. And here we already have it, the pink house bass. Place it on the second track, exactly after eight bars, starting at bar nine. Be careful, this is not perfect here. Uh, maybe we have to zoom in a little bit. Now it's perfect, good. Let's change the color of the bass. So maybe something like this is nice. We bring down the volume minus 4 dB and we listen. Ooh, I like that. It's okay but maybe the break has more attention if we make the bass shorter. So exactly where the break is, we give away the bass. Let's check this out. All right, here we need a copy. The copy I want to make longer again, exactly eight bars. And let's zoom out a little bit. Now we loop it. Okay. 
Let's bring in another track. We go again to mutant.com. We choose the family pink to have the same chord progression and the same tempo. But this time we go to keys. Oh, there's a Wurlitzer. I like that. That's nice. Let's download this. Pink synth. Also nice. What else do we have? Pink plug. Yes. Let's take this and see what we can do with it. It's already in the download folder. We go to track three and place the Wurlitzer maybe here together with the bass. Too much volume. Let's go to minus eight. zoom in to make it perfect. Also here another color is maybe good. I like that. Let's bring in the next instrument. What do we have? The synth. Here we go. Too much volume. Maybe we start here and here in the second half and here take care of the break. All right, and now we bring in the plucked instrument. So after the break, we place the melody. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's a nice trick. You have two mouse tools. Here at the right side, I can choose the zoom tool. And now if I hold down the command or the string key on a PC, then I have the second mouse tool. So without command key, it's the first one. With command key or string key, it's, or control key, sorry, it's the second one. Volume, minus six. So I like the sound, I like the melody, but it's too much melody. It sounds a little eighties. Uh, I don't like it so much. So we have to change that. So let's get creative. We zoom in a little bit. We just need the first four bars. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's make here eight bars. That's enough. And uh, maybe we cancel the second part and the fourth part. So we make cuts always at after two bars. And let's erase this one and that one. Let's listen. Also the last note. We don't need the last note. Dun, dun, dun. We don't need it. So let's cut it. And here the second. Wonderful. I like that. So, but maybe this sounds not so nice, right? It's stopping too immediately. So maybe we can make a fade. There are two possibilities to make a fade. First, you have here the fade tool. And you can say, let's fade from here to here. Or you also can do this. I made undo to make the last step back again. Here in the information box, in the region box, you go to more and here you have the fades. For example, I can make a fade in of 1000 milliseconds. That's like one second. We don't want that. We want a little fade out, something like this. Mm -hmm. Better, not perfect, but better. Here we do the same, fade out. Okay. So what do we do? We need a effect. And for this, we choose, let's close the region and the track box. We go to audio effects. Let's click on it. And now 
we choose the tape delay. If you don't find it here, you can go down here to delay and choose it here, tape delay. Stereo, let's make the length a half note. Bring up the feedback to something like 60%. Yeah. Let's shape the sound a little bit with a low cut at 600 and a high cut at 4000. Yes. More feedback, 80. Second melody, I think here is good. Here the music could come again or we stop it. Maybe we try to bring the first chord again, I'm not sure. Let's try that. Yeah, with a little fade out, it would sound maybe nicer. My name is Thomas Foster, and this is my YouTube or Facebook channel, Thomas Foster Music Production, which is all about music production. Here you will find tutorials on the most important DAWs or music programs, the most important plugins, and I'll show you how to produce the current sound of the charts and the clubs. If you have any questions about this video or more generally about music production, just write me in the comments. I'll answer all your questions. Of course, I'm also happy about the simple feedback or suggestion for another video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos. At this point, I say thank you for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers.